Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets and today we're going to be taking a look at this Young Avengers The Children's Crusade trade paperback. Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I am your host Brent Casino. Before we open this book up, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe. Helps me out, helps the channel grow, lets you know when I drop new videos. So, Children's Crusade. This is an old trade. Why are we talking about the Children's Crusade at this point, Brent? Well, I feel like it's worth taking a look at because this is the story where Tommy and Billy, who's not on this cover, his brother Speed, there he is, actually he is on the cover, uh, Tommy and Billy, Wiccan and Speed, meet their mother, the Scarlet Witch. And if you've been keeping up with WandaVision, you know who these characters are. You've seen them as little babies, as toddlers, and little boys. And I think the next time we're going to see them, they're going to be teenagers exploring their powers. He has powers like his mom. He has powers like his uncle, Quicksilver. So this is where they find out. I think where they find out who their mother is. No, that's the second volume of Young Avengers. Uh, it's called Family Matters. So you can check that out there because they find out that speed exists in that one. But this is the reunification of the original team of Alan Heimberg and Jimmy Chung, who were the creators of all of these characters. We're going to talk about uh, Wiccan, Speed, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye, who's going to be in the Hawkeye series that drops on Disney+, Plus. Cassie Lang, Stature, um, Patriot, which is Elijah, and Hulkling, Teddy, and uh, Young Vision, different type of Vision. Um, he was once Iron Lad, and then he became this Vision character. So, uh, yeah, they reunited. Like They did the first two volumes of Young Avengers, uh, issues 1 through 12. Then they left. Someone else took over for the Civil War crossover. And then they came back years, 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 years later, after a lot of outcry, to do um, this series, which was called, I think at the time it was Avengers, the Children's Crusade. Um, it is nine issues. It's all drawn by Jim Chung. It took a little while to come out because Jimmy Chung, uh, while a fantastic artist, is not a super fast artist. And I think it took a little bit, you know, wasn't quite monthly, but that's okay. So in here we got to add for the complete collection, which I didn't even know they had. I've got the two original hardcovers um, for those first 12 issues. So here's what it contains. Uh, all of the Children's Crusades, so this is one through nine. And then uh, Rebuilding from Uncanny X-Men 526, which I didn't know was in here. And then this kind of special, Avengers, The Children's Crusade, Young Avengers. It's a terrible title for something that's uh, written by Alan Heinberg, but it's drawn by fantastic artist Alan Davis. And I think that was like a future story or something like that. So we'll just flip through here. So you might see some issues you've seen before of the Young Avengers. They come from this, you know, they're like a fully formed team now. They're fighting... Uh, reminder that Wiccan uh, and Hulkling are, are a couple. And we got the other Avengers showing up here. So this is, I think, after, yeah, this is after Steve Rogers died and came back from the dead um, and reclaimed his title as Captain America. So this takes place after Brubaker's Cap run. Here we get a little um, idea of who Scarlet Witch is and why they're looking for her. We got a recap of the House of M event here on this beautiful double page spread. And so they say, all right, we're going to go look for our mom. And they kind of split up. Oh, here comes Magneto. So, yeah, I'm not trying to give away everything. But this is a really cool story because this is like it's intersecting three different teams. You have the Young Avengers, the X-Men, obviously with Wolverine on the cover, and then the Avengers as well. And they're all looking for Wanda. Where do they find Wanda? I mean, this is them interacting with their grandfather, I think, for the first time. Um... They find Wanda in Latveria, in the clutches of Victor Von Doom. And it's all kind of weird and crazy because she seems like she's poised to be married to Victor Von Doom. And she's happy. And the team's kind of conflicted about it. Here's Quicksilver, the uncle. Uh, he's Scarlet Witch's brother. You might know him as Pietro. And uh, in the comics, anyway, Pietro and Wanda are the sons and daughter, the son and daughter of Magneto, um, what's his name? Gosh, Eric, Eric Maximoff. It's not Maximoff, it's something else. 
So anyway, there's a big fight. And, and, and them being the son and daughter of Magneto, Pietro and Wanda, is actually a retcon of a retcon of like a th four other retcons or something like that. But that's what's stuck over the last, you know, 30, 40 years um, of Avengers history. So that's who everybody knows him. Here's Wolverine. He's mad. Captain America's in here. So yeah, you got all these teams coming together to, to fight things. Uh, here's Scott Lang coming back from the dead. And Scarlet Witch back in her costume. And we're basically, this is where they, they find out what happened to her. Maybe why she went crazy. Here comes the X-Men at the time. I think this this looks like Kieran Gillen's X-Men lineup. Um, Magneto was rocking this during the Schism uh, era. Before Bendis took over. This Arthur Adams variant cover. So these are interspersed through here with the uh, regular covers by um, Jimmy Chung. Who's a fantastic artist? Got X Factor showing up. So yeah, again, big setup between the X Men, the Avengers, uh, and all that. And this is a little more complicated because this also takes place after Avengers versus X Men, where they these two teams kind of you know clashed earlier. So here you got Von Doom doing some weird stuff, and you got the last issue. So we're we'll skip through here. Um, so yeah, so now we're into, this is the Koi Pell stuff that I have not read yet, from X-Men 526, Uncanny X-Men 526, and then here is the weird title I was talking to you about, Avengers, the Children's Crusade, Young Avengers number one. So this takes place in the far, far future, and now it looks like we've got grown versions of Speed, I guess that's Kate, Bishop, Hawkeye, we got White Vision coming back, uh, Captain Marvel, a female Falcon, this is Kang. The Conqueror, the Time Traveler. We got a black Captain America and a young black version of Bucky in the original Bucky outfit. Um, so I can't re quite remember if this was like alternate timelines. So here we go. We got Steve Wilson Bradley. So Sam Wilson's kid and who married some other descendant of Elijah. Here's Elijah Bradley right here. So maybe he married Sam Wilson's daughter and had a son and that's Bucky. I don't remember. C Cassie Lang is Stinger, so that's a wasp. And giant man costume uh, combination right there. Teddy Altman. Okay, so there's Hulkling right there. Captain Marvel. Vision. Kate Bishop. All right, Tommy. There we go. Samantha Wilson Bradley. So maybe they're brother or sister. I got to reread this. But Alan Davis on art. Can't really go wrong. Classic, classic artist. Fantastic. So lots to pack in here. You got nine full issues in here of uh, Young Avengers Scarlet Witch Goodness, written by Alan Heinberg, who's a really, really talented writer. I wish he had done more in comics, but I think he's doing, you know, Hollywood work now. He came from Hollywood, did Young Avengers, you know, kind of left, went back to Hollywood, came back for this. I think he did also an arc. He helped out Jeff Johns with the arc of JLA at the time after uh, Identity Crisis. So... He hasn't done that much in comics, but he's a really excellent writer. So I highly recommend this book, especially if you finished WandaVision and want to learn more about Young Avengers. I mean, I kept talking about them during our WandaVision review episodes, uh, and this is certainly the place to go after you've read Young Avengers Volume 1 and 2, or, you know, go seek out this complete collection that's advertised here in the front. And then come to the Children's Crusade, because this is where it all comes together. So this completes the arc that started in the first of issue of The Young Avengers by Alan Heinberg and Jim Chung. So, there you go. Young Avengers, The Children's Crusade. Really, really good book. Beautiful artwork. Great story. I can't wait to reread it. And once I do, we will have a review up on the channel once that is complete. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. Let me know down below what you like or don't like about this story. And we will see you guys next time in The Funny Pages.